So first thing you guys wanna do is check your firmware. As you can see here, I'm on 4.6. I use 48 Hertz most of the time. Sometimes I use 41, depending on the project I get or what that I'm working on. All right, so what you wanna do is click here. Well, you're probably gonna be on home. So click setup to get to this screen here. And you see this tab remote there? Just tab over with page right there. Get to remote. First thing you wanna do, is you wanna make sure you're on this second option here. So spin that knob there, hit that selected. And you also wanna make sure this is enabled. And on top of that, over here, you wanna make sure you're on car MIDI. And all of these are checked. This one is not a necessity there. Come over here on the board. And you wanna make sure your DAR remote is turned on. When I turn that button on, you see that moves, right? So you gotta make sure your DAR remote is turned on. So those are the steps on how you get to it. Okay. Now what you have to make sure, this is very, very, very important, okay? You have to make sure that your configuration is 32 in, 32 out. You cannot be on two in, two out, the eight outs. You can't be on none of those. You have to be on 32 in, 32 out for this to work right. So that's one key factor. To get to this menu, just go over here, click setup, see that? And then go to this tab here at the end that says card. Then come over here and select 32 in and 32 out for the configuration, okay? Next thing you wanna do when you get here in Studio One is you want to go up here. And let's do, I'm gonna delete this. All right. So we're gonna go up here to control, click that, add a device. Click on new control surf surface and X32. Let's do Behringer like that. Receive from X32 like that. And wow, right? Next thing we want to do is first thing you want to do is go back up here. Break. Okay, now once you get in Studio One and you set up that X32 in that Behringer part, unclick this, okay? Because you don't have to use this if you want to use all of the tracks, even these. You want to use that bank of eight, you have to unpress this and then continue following the tutorial from there. But before you start, you have to have this engaged for Studio One to understand and pick up that you want to use this device as a remote. So if you have it off, starting off, then that's gonna be bad, all right? Expand it a bit. Or to get to this menu, you can go over here, click external, right here, edit, same thing. So you wanna to go to MIDI Learn, and take your time, and go through each track like this. One, two, three, four, just like that. Yeah, see that? We're gonna use all of these. Because what I learned is when you don't have this active over here, this, uh, see, like, don't have that active you can actually use all of these to control those channels there so now that we have those let's do 17 through 32 see that so we actually have way more than 32 tracks that we can control Also can do mute buttons. See that? Just like that. All right. So now that we know we can do mute buttons, we can also go here, change it to fader. 
all the way down. But clearly when we get down here to the view tracks, we want to do a button press and release for that. Right? Now, how you assign these, because I'm not gonna do them all. You can also name it like CH1, right? Channel one. So now what you do, you do that. And you also come over here like this. You wanna go here, right click that channel one. See, there we go. We're moving it, got me. Same thing for channel two, move it like this, go here. Gotta click on the fader though. Here, click on the fader. Here, click on the fader. <laughs> See, you just have to manually do it. It can be done. You can use this side. I don't know why people just immediately jumps over here because that's just like the out the box way to do it. But yeah, you can definitely do this. Get your tracks going. Also with your mute here, when you do your mute button, want to go here right click on the mute sign that there see that only thing with the mute button you have to double click it to get it to mute and get it to turn off so you know so that's how you do it like comment and subscribe if this helped you out